Well, a flurry of news and updates at Mayor Eric Adams' press availability today, from comments about the migrant crisis to gun detectors on subways to crowd strike issues last week, still impacting city computers. PIX 11's Henry Rossell joins us now for a debrief on all of this. And Henry, the mayor, like many other Democrats, has really kind of galvanized and behind Vice President um, Kamala Harris as the potential nominee. But there are some differences when it comes to immigration. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, the mayor's been very critical of the Biden administration, which includes Vice President Harris, but, but he kind of struck a, a softer tone today. Remember, Vice President Harris's portfolio within the White House includes the issue of immigration, and Republicans have actually tried to paint her as a quote-unquote uh, border czar who hasn't done enough, although her mission is largely a lot more about going to South America and looking at uh, root causes. But Mayor Adams and his team took a softer tone today. They praised the recent executive orders by President President Biden that have reduced the number of migrants coming to New York City. Adams believes that Ms. Harris understands the issue and may even be able to help the city even more by moving forward an immigration compromise deal that former President Trump effectively quashed with political pressure. Take a listen. The Republicans refused to move towards it. It became political and not practical. And I think she's going to be able to stand up and say that her and the president produced that bipartisan agreement. We should have moved on it. And it's worth noting we've had three weeks in a row now with less than 1,000 migrants coming to the city. I know that's a lot, but we've averaged more than double of that for about a year and a half. And the mayor's team says it's not quite time to close those migrant emergency shelters, which are quite unpopular. But we are approaching that mm -hmm. point, which is good news. And switching gears here, as we mentioned, it was a very busy press conference mm -hmm. with a number of different topics. The mayor also talked about the global IT outage. It turns out, Henry, that there were several computers, city computers, that were were impacted by it. Yeah, there were. These are the non-critical computers, so okay. Department of Buildings and Parks and whatnot, but it's 300,000 computers went down across many, many different departments. I just mentioned a couple of them there. Initially, we heard that the city was dealing with a number of close to 90,000 computers uh, affected. So this is like three times as much. 40,000 computers are still down, um, and it'll take to the end of the week to get those back up to 100 percent. Again, I will note that, that there was a win here by the city government. We pointed this out last week. They kind of bifurcated the critical systems like 911 and the water system and whatnot as to make sure that the situation really didn't get too bad. But, uh, you know, still not a good time to file for that parks permit, for that <laughs> buildings <laughs> permit, for all of yeah. those basic services Marriage New Yorkers permit. need. City government is still yeah. dealing with a lot right now. All right, and Henry, lastly, there was also some news about permanently, possibly permanently putting metal detectors in subway turnstiles. Yeah, to be precise, gun detectors, so okay. they're not going to flag you if your belt or your mm -hmm. coins go off, gotcha. but these are specialized technology uh, that flags guns. The mayor's very big on this idea. Testing of this technology concluded pretty recently, and the mayor wants uh, this whole thing sped up and said the company called Evolve, no V on the end of that word, should be installing some of these detectors. Thursday or Friday of this week. So the mayor says uh, it won't be the last company that gets a contract like this. He wants to find the best gun detection tech that's not too intrusive. You can just keep on walking if you don't mean to do any harm. Uh, so by the end of the week, we'll become more familiar with this technology that will become a daily part of our yeah. lives for the four million or so New Yorkers that ride the subways each day. And thanks for clarifying that the screws in my knee aren't going to go off <laughs> as I walk through the yes. subway. Yes, yeah, my no. knee, not your <laughs> knee. Won't get jumped by a bunch of cops. <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right.